2014 men and women of God. I am so godly proud and grateful to God that he has allowed us to make it over just one more time. Amen. We've been through strain and struggle. We've been to trials and tribulations, but God was with us all the way and he has opened a door for us that we may walk into the wealthy place, the place of prosperity, the place that he has promised us in this season. But I wanted to come to you today to just give you a word of encouragement that we may stay focused at the task at hand that we will surely reap in this season that all that we've struggled through and endured it was not in vain but God will manifest his glory in our lives turn with me if you have a chance if not Exodus 23 in the 20th verse and it reads behold I send an angel before you to keep you in the way and to bring you into the place which I have prepared beware of him and obey his voice this is the first step God said I sent an angel the angel is going to make your way straight the angel is going to lead you and guide you the angel is moving every hindrance every stronghold every roadblock out of the way so that you can make it into the place that I prepared to you in this season your blessing is over there your provision is over there your favor is over there everything that I've done everything I promised everything I've spoken to you before this day has already been prepared for you and so I have an angel to lead you in the way to get there but he says that we have to obey his voice we have to be aware of him and obey his voice so we have to have our spiritual ears open amen and I pray that the Lord open your spiritual ears in this season that you may hear the Lord and that you will obey his command his directions his instructions that you will not be swayed to the left or to the right but that you will follow after his voice then he goes on to say do not provoke him for he will not pardon your transgressions for my name is in him come on we have to be serious in this season people of God you've been faithful over a few things and now God wants to make you ruler over much so now you have to continue in your faithfulness you got to press deeper into the things in the very being of God deeper in the depths of the realm of the spirit so that you can come out with more of God in your heart more of God in your mind more of God's spirit in you so that you can think like him you can talk like him you can walk like him and you can live like him because in order for us to receive the promise we have to be able to see the promise and if you've got more of God in you you can see the vision and you can run with it glory to God because God has a vision and a powerful purpose for your life but we have to obey we have to stay in line glory to God 22 says but if you indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak then I will be an enemy to your enemies and an adversary to your adversaries glory to God he said for my angel will go before you and bring you in hallelujah he said my angel will go before you he said if you obey my voice if you follow my instruction if you uh, pay attention to the strategies that I'm releasing to you in this season and you do as I say he said I will be an enemy to your enemies and I will be an adversary to your adversaries all those people all those things have tried to hold you down and hold you up God said I will fight for you I will fight on your behalf those enemies will become my enemies those adversaries that adversity that's trying to rise up against you it will become my adversity and I will take care of them he said and my angel will lead you into the place of promise come on my my angel will lead you into the place where the Hittites and the Amorites and all the Canaanites all those enemies are and those enemies will be scattered before you people of God there is a place that God is taking us to in this season I tell you my dear sister and my dear brother
We cannot lose with God on our side. If we fail at this task, it is because we did not follow the instruction. But I beseech you today, my brothers and my sisters, that we hear the voice of the Lord in this season, that we see the vision for ourselves, and we obey the instruction and do it. Because he said, then we'll be blessed. Then we will make it into the place of promise. Then there will be prosperity. Then there will be healing. Then there will be deliverance. Then there will be restoration. Then there will be increase. That land flowing with milk and honey. Everything that he promised, it is there. Stay the course. Stay the course. Continue in the way. And God will bless your socks off astounding astonishing blessings in this season people of God you will reap if you faint not I bless God for you I encourage you now today to stay focused on the task at hand to listen and hear God's voice clearly amen don't move until you know for sure that it's God that is speaking to you and he will bring the blessing and the increase in your life that he's always promised you. God will not fail. He is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he would have to repent. He will not fail. It's already done. My Father and my God, I pray right now for my brothers and my sisters. Lord God, I ask you to strengthen them in this season. Open up their eyes, O oh God, that they may see with clarity the vision and the pathway that you have set before them. Open their ears, O oh my Father, that they may hear clearly, O oh God, your voice, that they may hear your instruction, God, that they will know without a shadow of a doubt that it is you that is speaking to them in this hour. Father God, you have already made the way. Lord God, give us the strength to walk it out. Give us, oh God, the endurance to stick out, oh God, the path and the, the valleys that we may have to go through in order to get to the land of promise. Father God, we thank you that you have brought us this far and you will continue to take us further on to the place where you have set up for us that we may be blessed and prosper in the way. Father, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise, and we thank you for the multiplied blessings. We thank you for the increase. We thank you for healing. We thank you for deliverance. We thank you, oh God, for blowing up our spots, oh God, in this hour. That, Lord, you will get the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Go in the strength and the power of the Lord because he's with you. God bless you. And have a happy and prosperous 2014. You ought to give him praise for that. Hallelujah. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, no matter what it looks like, we will prevail. Come on, tell him again, no matter what it looks like, we will prevail. Come on, put those hands together.